Yes. Board member. Um, Nalar. Nalar. Yeah. The person I've known the longest in this whole room. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Chair. I, I, I had a, a general question about public comment and what constitutes a personal attack and what constitutes hate speech. Um, I've sat in this chamber and in other chambers and have been called uh, at the same time a communist and a Nazi, um, which is interesting all by itself. But uh, I know that uh, and I celebrate the right to free speech in this country, but when does it transition from uh, tolerating to condoning hate speech? And I just think uh, not being a subject matter expert in this area, I would love to hear from a subject matter expert and perhaps develop a way that we can uh, curtail uh, the hateful rhetoric that I am subject to every time I come to one of these meetings. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your comments. Um, I, all I can say about that is uh, if, if come January, if I happen to be the chair of this body, that would be one of the things that I'd want to define as well. And, and hopefully we'll be able to design our meetings that will address those kinds of things more directly. Thank Point you. of order, Mr. Chair. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I was just going to offer the King County Council has done significant legal analysis that we'd be, I'm sure our council attorneys would be happy to share. It may not be the answer you're looking for, but we have some existing legal analysis. And I would add our own general counsel has looked into this question and maybe this is just a topic that the board, uh, it has been briefed at different board leaders at different times, at least over the last three years, because it's been an area of concern. Uh, why don't we tee up that conversation for board members uh, at an upcoming meeting? Thank you. Comments? Okay. All right, at this time now, we're